Okay, I've gotten a few questions lately about how to use the cave walls that PBG came out with. First thing I really recommend doing is this piece is not normally a piece, part of the set. We've got this straight piece. I always make a copy of it for each set that he releases. Put it on a new layer. And then I'm going to go in and give a square tool with a feather edge of about 10 and just cut a little bit of its edge off each side. reason I do this is trying to use this piece with that hard edge. The hard edge just shows up too much. So this gives it now a feathered edge that I can use. Merge back down so that when I'm doing them it blends a little bit better. Most maps Always starting at the back, working forward, which means usually a turn off feathered edges. You're going to start off with the corner piece. So I'm going to start building a little alcove, kind of an upper layer to my map. And this is a recolor of the gray pieces that I did to match and furnace tiles. So no, there's not an actual set that looks exactly like this on its own. Um, Stick it in here and just to show what I was talking about a minute ago I'll go ahead and stick this on there And You can see there that hard edge if instead I use the one that I cut apart and Stick it in there Blends much smoother. Now we'll come back in, bring it down. And maybe the only way I found to actually come down with these tiles is to use one of the two edges like this. And you can really just kind of repeat them. Like that. And so I'll start coming down the opposite edge. Oh, don't delete it. Yep. Down. Don't like reusing the same piece too many times in a row. They really do start to look repetitive very fast. Then I'll come down. I am getting fussed at for not providing enough attention. Get off my computer. Sorry about that. So now we've got a path leading off into the next map. We're also going to do a front edge to this little area. So we're going to make a new layer. Charlie, sit down, please. See how well my child listens? <laughs> okay. So this is going to be very disruptive if he does this the whole time, but... So what I get for not recording my voice on the first map. Now he's getting antsy. Next, yeah, this is the front layer. I mean, I'm even going to label these here. Label. Upper front. This is the upper back. 
And I'm actually going to need a new in-between because I should have started at the highest point and I did not. Um, take one of these. The highest point is going to actually be about here. And then come back down into that other piece. I use lots of layers. Always use lots of layers. Gives you a lot of room to make mistakes and fix things. Um, we'll come back to this piece here so we're not doing repetitions. Let's see, now we can take this whole section and align it to what we built already and then merge them together. And we'll have to relabel that again. It's the upper front and kind of what I'm thinking is I'm going to have a little stairway down here going into the next area so it's going to make this a group so we can do later group upper, put these in it. Then I'm gonna make a new layer group lower. Let's start off lower steps. And I'll put the stairs in it just because I need something to aim at with my walls. So we'll see the stairs will come up to about there. I'm gonna do that. Looks like that blends together pretty well. Um, stairs usually need a little help here, so I'm going to take them. Let's try this one because I don't like this part of the stairs here. Yes, I'm on a new layer. I'm going to put this over it. Make it very transparent. And then I'm going to take this my lasso tool, feather edge. Let's make it about an 8. Bring it down the edges of the steps. erase all of that then we'll take this the magic wand select the steps we're selecting the outside delete the rest of it put the transparency back up now there's an actual rocky edge to the outside of the steps I personally prefer that a lot better now back to this to finish out the edges of that wall. Um, gonna make a new. Uh, let's just merge that down. Make it part of the steps. Make lower step wall front. Let's see, this is what I really don't like. The steps match the wall exactly, so we're going to want to make them stick out. So I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to take the steps. Bring them to here, but bring them out a little bit. So that they stick out from the wall a little bit. That's better. And now I can finish tying this into that floor, which I think it's only going to need on the front edge one more piece.
Yeah. I think that works. So now I can keep building this back edge here. So I'm going to go back to here. Steps wall front. We will build a straight piece. and texture we'll do the one with the bump bring it in here um, let me, we can also do the same thing coming down with one of these map a little bit bigger image canvas says this isn't real scientific for today I'm gonna make it 1200 yep, that was the width one make it taller wrong cancel image canvas says I want to make it the highest let's do this 960 just because I want to fit another feature down here Oh, there's an option in there I did not use. Image canvas says 960 is to resize all the layers. There's so all my layers will fit the new size. That's better. I can undo what I did here. That's fine. We'll cover it up. There we go. Now I can get my cave coming down. Now, these ports are going to start overlaying, so I'm going to do this as a upper layer. A lower upper. Yeah, my naming gets a little funny. So then... We can start bringing it back in because the character will be able to walk behind these parts of the cave wall. And then finish it out of this map. side of the stairs uh, lower step wall back and so push this off to where it needs to be in a minute And then we'll bring it out and across. I 
and this layer was supposed to be under the steps like that and let's turn off the grid just to make sure we see what we're looking at if you turn off the grid I'd say that looks pretty decent got kind of a weird thing going on here oh that was intentional that's my little bump piece looks funny what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find um, one of my other tile sets I have the other pieces also converted for in furnace so I'm going to take some of the decals and put that in there this is going to be part of upper front so I can stick that decal in there yeah and I think that actually looks much nicer okay so now I'm going to build a little platform up in here so we're going to start with this again building the front side of it make a new layer group new layer group there it is kind of platform make a new layer platform front Let's zoom in a little bit and we'll stick some steps on it and then going into the big advanced step build again this will be a shallow platform we'll just accept the steps as they are um, actually I just kind of threw that no nope, it's a little bit too tall that's always the things that are worth looking at though sets of steps just to make it big enough it out actually no go my first thought finish it out here and then we'll do the back edge of that platform so we'll do new layer platform back sure it's underneath the front and this is kind of gonna get strange until you see the whole thing in action all I'm really doing is putting an edge so that I can put a plat a floor over it so the front doesn't have to be pretty just the back edge of it does the inferno 
this floor texture. I'm just gonna take most of it. Yeah, I think I missed. Yeah, I don't need near that much. More the transparency so I can see what I'm doing. Get off the corner a little bit. And lesser tool. Let's feather it to 10. I'm just going to outline where the actual edges of this platform are. And I can get rid of all of that extra floor piece. Push the transparency back up. And there we go. So now the character could go up there. There's probably a little hidden treasure chest on the other side if you went back to the next map from there. And I'm looking at this, and that's way too big. So let's put a new little section behind the platform. Uh, make a new layer behind the platform wall. And we'll stick some more of this back behind it. Let's see, we want that cave passage to go through there. Um, we'll bring it down. Then we'll bring it back forward again. This way. I think I like the way this is going to end up. I have to move it a little bit. And bring it to there. I'm actually going to raise this up above the platform because I'm going to take it and actually make this the back edge. Feature here. We'll put it here. I'm going to draw the edge with a little pit where there's going to be some lava flowing through here. So let's take the edges again. We'll put it under here, right about there. I'll bring it down. And then we'll bring it back. It's not going to be a very big area. I'll leave it there. And take this. So now what we've got to do is take Feather Edge, make it about eight. Set, so I need to select invert, get rid of the excess. So what I can do now is when we finish, let's make a floor group, new layer group, floor, yeah, remaining 
That's not what I wanted. Rename for layer of lava. We'll have the lava sitting inside there. That can actually become an animated layer when we actually play the game. Um, I'm not going to worry about the excess because I'm going to build a floor over it. And then we'll start a new layer. Floor. I'm really just going to take that and fill the whole map with it. Pattern fill. And then we will come back in here and cut out the lava again. There, that's not too bad. something to distinguish this platform from the rest of the ground let's see we need some texturing in here I don't have my texture sets loaded so let's go find the textures and I'm just going to take a piece of this map So I can compare it to some of this. Let's see, you know, if I darken it a little bit, then I actually will play well. Let's try it. Let me take that. Go to my platform floor. I'll add some texture to it. So I'm gonna take the stamp tool. Use one of my texture tools. And then we'll go to the lasso tool for the floor. Right, no, not the lasso, the magic wand. And delete the excess. It doesn't look so bad, and it does it. Maybe we'll take the eraser, take a different tool. Yeah. Just so it's not quite so even. And then we'll take these rocks. Scatter some of them around. Stamp. There's a lot of little pebbles sitting around up there. Okay. Now what else can we do? Oh, definitely need to do an overlay layer. That is going to be the lasso tool, feather the edges, a little bit more than usual. I'm going to do these about 25. And then start coming around the outsides of the map. So that I can fill with black. And then we'll do the same thing through here. Let's see this side. I kind of built a little bit of depth into it. I need to be more careful with it. Do 
for this one, but I'm coming in through here. And this is more about building the cave walls than the floors, but I feel like I have to do something to the rest of this. First off, that needs to go outside. Um, we need some stalactites in it. Got to make it an interesting map. Can't leave it boring. Um, none of those are laid out across, so we'll have to make our own clusters. places um, I also really like these I actually have one of my maps that I built where I actually use that as the cave floor kind of liked it but when you're doing it it's kind of hard to tell is it passable is it not so, kind of a use with caution. Yeah. As soon as I said use layers, I need to actually have that on a new layer. Because I do want it to stick out a little bit. But I didn't want it to overlap my other little lava rocks. Like that. And stick another little piece like that under those stalagmites. Oh, where is it? I'm going to leave the whole thing, just a little section of it. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, it just gives your ground a little bit of variety, so it's not so boring. Um, where is it? Another section here. So, I don't have a problem with that. Hmm. 
Yeah, it gets a little too repetitive. So let's come back with the eraser tool. Soft edge erase, a little bit bigger. And just take some of these out. Actually, I'm curious. I can probably layer transform. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. There. Gives it a little bit different direction. Helps it be a little bit different. And I think I'm going to call this done.